Hello everybody. We are back and we're ready for action. Uh, the last episode I recorded was probably two weeks ago. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I just got everything back moved in, got my internet set up. Uh, so we're good to go. I think we are uh, ready. To, we already looked at everything here in Airy Glyph. Uh, we're ready to go out here and wreck stuff. Oh, we got to be a part of the story first. We're still. We still have Nell with us. Oops, that's not what I was trying to do. Um, what we're, our plan is after we do this scene up here, there's like a cut scene with Nell and oh, these two people. The most annoying voices on the face of the earth. And uh, we're gonna complete this map, come back into Aeroglyph, and buy that armor for Cliff. Make him OP. Is that is how I do things? All right. Sorry, I'm late. Lady Nell. Our preparations are complete, ma'am. We can leave immediately. Nice work, Tiny. I'm just glad you're safe. Lady Nell! Are these the ones, ma'am? Yes, Farling. They're engineers from Greeton, as we thought. So we were right. Great! Then we'll be able to complete it! That's right. But we don't have time to kick back and chat now. Our pursuers are right behind us. If the Dragon Brigade shows up, we'll be in serious trouble. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Get in the wagon. We leave immediately. That one girl's voice is really annoying. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Introduce me to these fine young ladies. This is Tynave, and the driver's Farlene. They serve directly under me, my ears and eyes in Aeroglyph. They're the ones who told me about you two. Lucky for us. All women, huh? Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> Aquaria is ruled by the Holy Mother of the Church of Abras. We employ many more women than Aeroglyph. Church of Apris? Yes, the Church of the Sun God Apris. The Holy Mother leads the church and is also Queen of Aquaria. A theocracy. I got you. What you're saying is your country's packed with temple maidens. Now I have to see this place. Nell, I'd appreciate it if you'd answer my question now. Right. But before that, might I ask one thing? What? Are you two really engineers from Greeton? Well, um... Hey, you still don't believe us? It's not that. It's just... The fact that you possess special technology and knowledge is clear to me. So yes, it does seem likely that you are who you say. Still, something doesn't fit. The way you respond to danger and your fighting ability indicate that you are not telling me everything. And you are certainly not average engineers. So you see, I believe my doubts are well-founded. Well... Okay, you got a point. But it seems to me you're just gonna have to take our word. We got nothing to gain by lying to you anyway. Wait, you don't think we're Aeroglyph spies, do you? Oh, please. Yes, I see what you mean. But you still don't trust us. No, I trust you. In any case, I was ordered by Her Majesty to bring you to Aquaria. I'm up. Well then, <laughs> Sorry. Now. 
Please answer my first question. Yes. Since you're unfamiliar with this region, I'll fill you in on the details while explaining our current situation. Please. Ty Nave, the map. Yes, ma'am. This is Eriglyph, the town we just left. Everything to the west of this line is the nation of Eriglyph, a military superpower. Eastwards of the border is our country, Aquaria. You follow? As I mentioned earlier, Aquaria and Eriglyph are at war. Eriglyph is a militaristic nation that reveres power above all else. Aquaria is a peaceful nation that worships the Church of Aphris. Aquaria and Eriglyph maintained friendly relations until several years ago. But one day, they invaded our territory without warning. It seems they've been planning their invasion for some time. Eriglyph's a frigid land ringed by mountains. Food production has never been easy here, especially in winter. We believe they were after our land, fertile with the blessing of Apris. A war of aggression, huh? Correct. There was no diplomacy, only outright military aggression. We resisted, but we were outmatched. Somehow we managed to hold them back, but the border town of Arias was laid to waste. Still, the war has not been completely one-sided. We may be lacking in military power, but we do have runology. Runology? A secret art handed down by the followers of Apris. We inscribe special runes into our flesh that enable us to invoke normally impossible phenomenon. Thus the name Runology. So that's how you broke the prison bars. Correct. Special runes? They look like tattoos. I can't help feeling I've seen something like this before. Hey, isn't that like symbology? Symbology? Right. That's what it reminded me of. Yeah. Symbology? Uh, never mind that. Just continue. But what's stopping you from using runology to keep Eriglyph back? There are only a few of us that can use runology. Far too few to help us stand up to Eriglyph. That's why we decided to develop a weapon that makes use of runology. It's a man-made weapon that uses the special energy evoked by runology as a power source. The engineers have named that energy Channeled Force. Channeled Force? Correct. It's similar to lightning, but there are still a number of problems preventing us from completing the weapon. A power similar to lightning? Just when our research ground to a halt, Ty Nave and Farlene told me about you two. They also brought back a fragment of that thing that fell into Eriglyph. It was of great interest to our researchers. They said the fragment was of a material they could not identify, and that we should enlist your aid in our weapons development. And that's where I came in. So you're asking us to help develop a weapon that uses channeled force? Yes, that is correct. I bet we could use their power to make us a communicator. Yeah, a radio wave device, maybe. I don't really know much about this channeled force, but my guess is it's electricity. And if we can make that, we're home free. But, Nell, I can't do it. We can't help you. Didn't I say refusal wasn't an option? But you're talking about a weapon that will kill many people. I don't want to have any part of that. Plus, we don't have any time to spare. I understand your situation. You need to hurry to save your father, correct? Yes. You admit this is a personal problem, not one that concerns us. True, but... Our country is in a state of war. Both the people of Aquaria and Eriglyph are dying, energy weapon or no. A quick end to this war will reduce the number of lives lost. That is why we need to complete our new weapon as soon as possible. 
This is starting to remind me of my old Earth history lessons. Even so, that's not a good enough reason for me to build a weapon. So you're going back on your word? That's coercion. Call it what you will. I already told you back at the prison I could not let you live if you refused to cooperate. I don't have anything against you two, but my duty comes first. And I don't need to remind you that you can't help your father if you're dead. Now wait a second. What do you think Aeriglyph would do if we abandoned you here? We wouldn't help them either. I wonder if you'd sing the same song after their Inquisitioner had his fun with you. I would. I've already had a taste of it, believe me. Confident, aren't you? Hey, don't get all bent out of shape. And you, chill out. But... No buts, kid. Nothing good comes of acting hastily. We have no other choice. Frankly, the war with Eriglyph will escalate unless something is done soon. If we could only complete the new weapon, the situation would shift in our favor. If that means we must force uncooperative people into submission, then so be it. Is that a teaching of Apris? <laughs> of course not. The sun god Apris and our queen would never wish such things. Yet if we do not act, they will find themselves lacking for followers. Would you rather we submit to their swords like lambs to a slaughter? That's not what I mean. But that is what you are saying. You're just twisting my... Oh, no! Oh, no! Huh? What is it, Farlene? We have company! I think it's the Dragon Brigade! They've caught up with us? Damn, we were so close to Curlsaw, too. What are you gonna do? Fight? Lady Nell. What is it, Tynaeth? It would be best for you to slip off and find shelter in the rocks. We'll lure them away. That's too risky! Don't worry. We'll be fine! We've lost their kind before! But... Tyne Farley, I'm counting on you. Okay, you two, let's go. This is insane! You're just gonna let them go on? You are too valuable for us to lose. We'll be fine. Fewer people means more speed. We'll outrun them. So please, go. No time for chit-chat. Let's move. But... Fate, please, look after Lady Nell. You be careful yourself. Don't worry about us. May the grace of Apris be with you. May the grace of Apris be with you. Woo! Here they come. The Dragon Brigade. I feared they'd show up sooner or later. It shows how important you are to them. That's the Dragon Brigade? Correct. They're one of Eriglyph's three military branches. Knights riding powerful air dragons. Not to be trifled with. Time to go. While Tainé distracts them, we can go through Curlsaw and enter Aquaria territory. Wait a moment. I haven't agreed to cooperate with you yet. And we can't leave them here. There's no way they'll be able to escape with those dragon knights chasing them. Yes, there's an extremely good chance that they'll be caught. But there's nothing we can do about it. What? They knew the dangers of their mission and they accepted it. <sighs> if I became a burden to the mission, they would leave me behind in the same way. Mission? Mission? What's the matter with you? 
Hey, Fate, shut up. <laughs> but I'll leave whether or not we cooperate up to you. But save the debate for later. We gotta get somewhere safer first. We'll be safer once we reach Aquaria, right? Yes, I can guarantee that. There you are. So let's go there, then we can decide what's what. Make sense to you? Yeah, but still. You want Tynave and Farlene sacrificed to go to waste? Whatever their objective might be, they're risking their lives to save us. You're right. Woohoo! And what happened to the music? Did the music stop? Hmm. Oh wow, that's... Where'd the music go? Whatever. Uh, let me make sure that he is... Yeah, he's not in here. Okay. So we gotta complete this map without going into Curl Saw. Uh, which can be difficult because if you get just too close, you'll it'll suck you in and then you can never come back until like later in the story. <sighs> Ripe berries. It feels so weird without the music. I don't know what happened. Jewel of alertness. Kill all these birds. Let's take them. I'm gonna pulverize you. Still OP. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so I want to get. Ah, I went too close. No. Ah. <sighs> What's wrong? My head. Ah. Are you sure you're all right? Uh, I just felt dizzy there for a minute. We'll be in Curlsaw soon. Can you make it that far? Why don't you have him carry you? I'm fine. <laughs> Not a baby, jeez. <laughs> Very well. Okay, I didn't go too far. It, it does that on you. Okay, so that that will be too far. Okay, we're good. Whew. Making me nervous. Oh, there's the music again. I see a bug on the map. But... Alrighty. Finish. Oh, there it is. Looks like a good spot. These guys are nothing. I can eat these guys for breakfast. Let's see. Must complete the map. Oh, he's gotta run along the edge. Like someone with OCD. Nice we'll cut it here and go back. Hey. Yes. There we go. Forty five. Okay. 
This is fun. Looks like a good fight. Firebolt! I'm gonna pulverize you! Hammer and fight! Kill them all, Cliff. Kill them all. Know your enemy before you... Got more to complete. Black Brigade. I feel like this is like less of a playthrough and like more of a how to break this game. <laughs> how to be super OP at the game. Because, uh, Cliff is just insanely strong. Like, these guys, like, you're not even supposed to be really be able to fight these guys. Technically, you can, but they're supposed to be like, outclassing you. Avoid a fireball. Take it. Yeah, punch him. Hey, I got a wind charm. I'll take it. Yeah, anyway, it's it's definitely I feel like I'm doing like a tutorial on like how to keep fade at level one and how to be super OP, how to get early stuff in the game. But that's what I do. I do that kind of stuff anyway, so... Alright, Cliff is just wrecking this stuff with Hammer of Mites. Thanks for those gauntlets that we got. But that's not all we need. Ah, okay. Stuff's hard to navigate. Alright, let's get that chest. How do I get there? There we go. Open. Oh, goodness. I guess now is as good a time as any to give a shout out to my buddy uh, over on his YouTube channel. And uh, I'm having trouble remembering his YouTube channel name. I think it's like Zweihander Gaming. Yeah. He, I got him to play this game last year. And for some reason, he played like four episodes worth. And then just hasn't played it since. But, uh... Go, I nag him every time I talk to him. Yeah. Gonna have to keep waiting. And, uh... <clears throat> If you guys want to do me a favor and nag him to do it too, I would very much appreciate it. Uh, plus, if you like Dark Souls stuff, Here we go, guys. he uploads like, uh, stuff non stop. This is a good grinding spot too if you can figure out a way to beat these guys. Uh, they're really tough. Because they're like soldiers, and then sometimes you can actually get a fight in with three of them. And even with Cliff overpowered right now, three of them would would probably wreck me. Ah, uh, ninety percent. Just trying to get to that. I think I need ninety-nine percent. Might be right here. Oh my god, there's three of them. Get the <laughs> she died. <laughs> yeah, if they were all attacking Cliff, dude, he would get wrecked. Without a doubt. Ah! They are coming for me. I need to get... Oh, I don't think I have a, uh, any stuff. One fresh sage. Blueberries. 
Uh, let me see. Ooh, what's that wind charm? I forgot to check that out. Wind defense. No, I don't want to drop it. I want to equip it. Does it give you anything except wind damage boost? I mean, uh, decrease. Let's see. Stun is really good. But is it better than crit? Probably so. Put stun on there too. Oh yeah, and check out his uh, status ones. I get more HP. Doesn't really need too much MP. Gosh, so close to getting that. Okay, we need... There we go. Is that a snowman? That is cool. Air glyph snowman. Here we go, guys. Get a move on. Wait, I'll go Fire <laughs> She can't even move. Oh, <laughs> Too late for recruit. A lot of experience though. Like that triple XP, dude. Like, I'd be in the twenties, like, so easily. And if you get enough money to buy this stuff in here, and you have Fate and Cliff in there with Nell, it, it's actually pretty easy. But yeah, let's see. We got to get to the armor, which I don't remember where it was. Is it in this? Is it this guy? No, this guy's the weapons. But uh, I need to sell that anyway. Or oh. sell. There we go. Scale bunny for nine thousand. I now have twenty. I don't remember how much that armor was for Cliff. Master plate is 24. What do we have that we can sell? Oh, bad. We don't need this. We got perfect berries. Is that enough? Yes. Okay, so now we got Cliff, super, 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 duper, duper, uber, OP. Because now his, this gives you 60 defense, whereas this gives you 8, so. It's 200 more attack, 660 more defense. That's awesome. He will now live forever. Uh, okay, so I'm going to end this episode here. <clears throat> I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, oh, that's not the right building. I was going to go save it. Um, we'll pick up next time. I'm going to do a little bit of grinding in here. Get Clip up a little more. Maybe even Nail. Uh, if she stays alive. And we'll go to Curl Saw in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Adios.